Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma, and also welcome to another Inspiration Wednesday. For today, my inspiration came from one of my design team members, Miss Lucy. She had made this really cute, um, what do you call this, this little post-it note holder on her blog. She did a video for it as well. Um, so if you speak Spanish, I will have a link to it because she does it really cute in Spanish in her video. So I'm going to try my best to do it for you. Um, I get the whole idea. I watched her video. I don't really understand that. Pretty sad. I'm Mexican and I don't speak it. But <laughs> I tried my best to understand it the best I could. And the cool part about it is that I could see her scoreboard really clear where she did all her scoring. I was able to follow, follow along and make one myself, okay? So I let me put this aside here. So I'm going to show you what I used for to decorate mine. I used the Once Upon a Time stamp set along with the coordinating die. Isn't this super duper cute? And I love what I love about this die is when I designed it, I only put stitching on the paper portion. Otherwise it would have been too too much stitching all the way around, okay? So it's only on the paper, so it's gonna be super duper cute, okay? So anyways, I decided to do this in a chalkboard ver version. Okay, she has three, she cuts out three pieces and I'm not gonna do the third piece because, and I'll, you'll, you'll understand why as I'm going through this, okay? Let me grab my scissors here. So this piece here, this is your first, this is the base. This is cut out at um, three and one eighth by nine and a half, okay? Your second piece is cut at four and one eighth um, by six and a quarter. And if you do decide to have the third piece, that piece is three and one eighth by three and a half, okay? So I'm going to quickly show you how we are going to score this, okay? And I'm gonna score the bigger one first, all right? So my very first score line is going to be at three and a half, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and score this right now. Three and a half. The second score line is going to be at seven inches. Hopefully you can see that. Let me put this closer. Okay, the first score line was three and a half. Second one is at seven inches, okay? And then the third one is going to be, let me make sure I line that up perfectly, eight inches. The next one is going to be nine inches. And then that's it. So you have those one, two, three, four score lines, okay? So let's go ahead and score this as well, okay? Now this is some kind of strange. I'm going to use my regular score pal. The only reason why I didn't use my little Martha Stewart one is because it only goes up to this many inches, like six and a half inches, and I needed more space. So that's why I used my Stampin' Up one here, and, I'm, and I love that it has a little score feature little tool on there as well. Okay, now being this one is a little bit smaller, we're going to go ahead and score this one first, okay? before we do any um, adhering together and all of that stuff. Okay, so now to score this one here, we are, oops, we're gonna do it this way. Hopefully I'm doing that right. I think I am. Okay, so you're gonna score it this way and it is going, your first score line is gonna be a half an inch. Okay, your second score line is going to be Three, it's three inches plus five lines. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we are going to turn it around and we are going to score it at two and a quarter, the first one. And the second one is going to be at two and okay two and a quarter and the second one's going to be at two and three quarters 
And then our last one is going to be, let's see, we're going to score it at five, but we're only going to go up to this first score line, okay? We're not going to go all the way down, so only to the first score line, which is right there, okay? And then we're going to turn it around this way and do the same thing. Score it at five, but only to the first score line right there, okay? So, let's go ahead and put this together first. Um, let me grab my better bone folder here for this. Okay, so we are going to just go ahead and score this first. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to... Okay, after we fold this part in, you're going to fold this part out that way, okay? And then you're going to fold the smaller part back in, okay? Because that's where your adhesive, ad adhesive is going to go. And you want to make sure you use a pretty strong adhesive, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. This is a little permanent super high tack tape. Um... I believe this, yeah, this is from Scrapbook Adhesives. That's the brand, and I really like them. I love, I love their, um, what do you call it? I love their pop dots, which I use all the time. So let me go ahead and put this on here. Alrighty. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just close this like so. Okay, alrighty, so there you have it. That's going to be our stand, just like so, okay? Now, for this one here, what you want to do is just cut, maybe I shouldn't, maybe, let me grab, let me see. Actually, you know what, let's use this really fast, so this way it won't be so black up against this thing here, okay? Okay, what you want to do is trim this part off these little rectangular sides here. We're going to go ahead and trim those off first. Now hopefully I get, I, I'm able to cut this really straight because this is going to be our back part here. Okay, so there goes the first one and then we're going to cut this one off here as well. Okay, and then we're going to cut these little tiny guys off, off too. Okay, same thing on these, this part here. I'm not going to decorate this on camera for you because I figure, I figured it, I want to show you how to actually make it. So this way you can make your own and you could decorate it however you want. And you know what I'm going to, I wonder if I just keep... This feels like a really weird cardstock. This is a 12 by 12 chalkboard cardstock that I had actually picked up at um, my craft channel a while ago. And when I was cleaning up my um, craft room, when I was reorganizing it, I actually um, came across it. So I was so happy. And then plus when my design team members had come in over, they had came over in, uh, not too long ago. She actually reminded me of it too, so that was a good thing. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to do a chalkboard version of this little post-it note holder. So I'm just going to go ahead and just trim that part off, just like so, okay? So now I am going, and you don't even really need a bone folder to be honest with you, because like I said, I don't know what, it feels plasticky to me. It's like a really weird um, material. You know what, I could have used, you see how this is more chalk, chalkboardy and this is um, shiny? This is what I was talking about, okay? This is what you need that smaller piece for, which I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out anyway because I thought for some reason they were both the same consistency on both sides. Now, just bef before I glue this together, if you're going to do any stamping on here, this is the time to do it before you put it together. So let me go ahead and quickly just cut out that third piece really fast. Okie dokie, here is that piece I was telling you about, that third piece 
Okay, so basically if you're using like pattern paper and it's white on the inside, that's what that piece is for. And this is the piece that is um, three and one eighth by three and a half, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just take the backings off of here. And you don't necessarily have to use this kind of adhesive. Any strong adhesive like the red tape adhesive, your, um, you know, something that's really, really strong would, would be good for this. This, this material, I don't know what it is, but it's so it's tricky to work with here. But I'm going to try my best to get this part. It's a little off, but that's okay. Once you got that inner part on, um, what you want to do is put your, on this, on these side ones, put your adhesive there. Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and fold these in. Fold that in like so. I'm pretty sure they have any chalkboard, chalkboard paper would work with this, to be honest with you. This is just what I had on hand, and I wanted to make one. Okay, so using this paper. All right, so that is there. So what I'm going to do is just, let's see, what can I use for this? Um, hmm. Let me use my paint. I could use one of my paint brushes here. Yes, I'll use one of my paint brushes just to kind of like you know, go like this to make sure it gets, the adhesive gets it really good. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for this side. Let me go ahead and take this part off here. How awesome would these be for teacher gifts? Super cute. Okay, so it's going to go like that. Perfecto. Okay, so now at this point all you're going to do is just put adhesive behind here and stick that on. But I don't want to do that just yet because I do want to do some uh, do something to it. And then what you do is grab your Huh, I just had a whole bunch up here. Let me grab a little um thing here. Of oh, your little post-it notes. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and just put your post-it notes in here. But of course, it'll be standing up. And it'll be connected to this perfectly. How cute is that? And you can sit this on your desk. Like I said, perfect for teachers, okay? Perfect, perfect. So let me show you mine that I did. And I was definitely inspired to use my typewriter because of the way she made hers. Isn't this cute? So this is what I use that inside paper for because I use plain cardstock on the outside. So I, th so I thought this matches my craft room perfectly. So just put that in there. So I'm not sure if you could tell, but it is standing up really cute. Isn't that adorable? Super cute. I mean, you could do s several different things with this. You could actually make something similar to this, but instead of this, put a little picture frame. You know what I'm saying? There's many, many options you could do with this. So anyways, everybody, that is my inspiration project for you today. And I forgot to tell you, I did use my petal flower dies. Okay, and there's a set of three. And I just kind of poofed them up, you know, just kind of folded them up to give them a little layered look there. And then for my typewriter die, I actually cut it out three times to make it look like a cute little embellishment. Doesn't this look like an adorable little embellishment, those little sticker embellishments that they sell right now? So I thought it was really cute, gave it some nice dimension, and I just love it, and this is going to be on my, cra on my craft room table. So anyways, everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Um, have a fabulous day. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another challenge. Thank you. Bye-bye.